Hi everyone, James Mance here bringing you yet another video. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so sorry for that clickbaity kind of title, but it's been like five days since I posted the video and I got desperate. So, I got your attention now. Here's what we're doing today. We are trying out Kimchi Chic Cosmetics. I think that's what it's called, Kimchi Chic. Yeah, Kimchi Chic Cosmetics by Kim Chi, Kimberly Chi of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 8. So, let's open the stuff up and see what I got. Now, bear in mind, I didn't get sent PR. Ooh. Bear in mind, I didn't get sent PR, so I bought stuff with my own money. And I didn't buy that much, just bought what I thought I would actually use. So, here we go. Yeah, here we go. It's like birthday presents. I cannot remember exactly what I bought. This one is the Diamond Shards in Strike a Pose. And it looks like this. Ooh. Ah. Alrighty, yeah, this is pink! I would definitely use this. Okay, I'm not gonna swatch it because I'm gonna use it. Alright, so this is that one. Let's open up the other one. High Key Gloss in the color Acai. You know, like, love that drink. Okay, here we go. Open it up. Oh my goodness, so fabulous. Put that there. And let's see what's inside the big one. Look, it's Kim! Aw, Kim Chi says, Hey darling, you're going to destroy everyone with your killer makeup looks. And it's got a little kissy. It looks pretty there. I love that. God, her face is so flat. She can just do anything she wants with it. All right. Anyway, this is cute as hell. Oh my God, look at that. It, uh, oh my God, there is an artist on Instagram who does art like this. I wonder if it's the same girl. But she has like these little like drawings of like herself where she's doing like everyday situations and talking about her cats. But they're the cutest thing in the world. But it looks just like that. And there's artwork on the palette, which is cute, like little comic. I've never really seen palettes like that, where it has like that kind of approach to it. It's interesting. And these are some big pans. I thought it was actually really small from what I saw on Instagram. And lots of neutrals, so it's actually speaking my language. Neutrals with a hint of color. Okay. Without further ado, let's get started. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And I want to start with my contours of my eyes. So, grab a brush, and I'm going to use Burnt, which is right next to Toast. How appropriate. I'm going to use Burnt right next to Toast. What I'm going to try and do here in this look is actually use a lot more of my lid space. I noticed that, like, now that I started blocking my brows, I still fall into the habit of, like, not utilizing all the space that I have where I could go a lot bigger with my makeup and I just choose not to. Let's be brave today. Let's do something different. I'm going back, back, back to my roots of cartoony makeup and looking like a clown. Now let's start to transition that a little bit. I'm gonna go in with chocolate. I'm doing a big old crease today. Okay, now that is mapped out. It's not gonna be this big a crease because that's gonna look insane. I'm actually, most of this is gonna be eyeliner. So we're gonna cut this here and we're gonna fill in with color. All right, now what I'm gonna do here is a little orthodox for my routine. I'm actually gonna put some eyebrows on first just so I have an idea of where I'm going with the eye makeup. So, let me find my brow pencil and I'm actually gonna use chocolate again from the palette and sketch up my brows. <gasps> okay, those are sketched out. Let's start doing some fun color stuff. We're gonna go in with our ColourPop. I love this because it's cheap and it works. I just got a brand new one, so we're gonna wreck it with this kimchi stuff. Okay. All right, let's get that set with something. Go ahead and use. All right, we're gonna set it with Organza. All right, eyeliner. No, eyeshadow, then eyeliner. Because black, you do colors first, then black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it works. That's how makeup works. I know what I'm doing here. Okay. So, we're going to go in with a little burgundy. All right, I'm going to do my eyeliner on one side for you. Then I'm going to do the rest off camera. I'll be right back and we'll start putting color <laughs> on the face. All right, I'm going to fill the other side in with eyeliner. And while I was off camera, I also went around my crease with some black. I'll do that again for you just so you know what I did. Let me just fill that in for you. That's all I'm doing. It's just covering up my whole eyelid because I don't need it for this look. We're doing full dragon makeup for this eye liner. I don't know why I said that's so spaced apart I'm like with William Shatner or something. I took a little brush like this and just took some of Onyx, which is the black color, and just went around my crease 
to outline it. And if you're saying, James, you completely covered up the white you just did, that's why we still have more of the cream liner. We can just go over it. It's how strong this is. It's makeup. Let's go in with our white again. And I'm going to use a brush this time and pick some of that off of there and thin out our crease. And there's not a whole lot I can say about this. You want it to be nice. You generally just have to like, you know, take your time and go slow with it. And I'm only gonna do one on camera because it's gonna take me forever to do it. So enjoy this while you have it because I want this makeup look to look pretty. I see a fruit fly flying around. Hold one second. Oh, this is thick. This is some good quality. I can smack someone with this. Yes. <laughs> good going, kimchi. Okay, wait, where was I? Oh yeah, yeah, crease. And there you go, with a powerful enough cream, it all looks intentional. I'm gonna do the other side off camera, I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, I'm back. That actually took a lot less time than I thought it would. I think it's because I didn't have to talk. So, all right, we have our creases all cut. We're gonna go in with colors now. Let's make this fun. And I left this wet, I'm not gonna set it again. So I'm gonna do a pink look today, I know, shocker. So we're gonna dip into watermelon and we are gonna go around our edges and set up our base camp for color. And just go freaking nuts with it. Just fucking pink everywhere. Why the hell not? We're rock stars. We're like Cardi B. We're showing up to people that call us out. We're gonna fight them. Patting on more pink. I'm sorry I keep cutting in and out. There is a fruit fly in my frame and it keeps messing with me. Okay, pink. And that's a little rough. I'm gonna blend out the edges in a minute. I'm just gonna start doing anything else because I want more color. Let's put down a little bit of pink as a base. Just a tiny bit, just to add a little color there. And then we go in with the shimmer color, grape, which is a bright sparkly pink, but it's called grape. So I like that, okay. I'd say for a drag queen, she knew her stuff. Cause like when it comes to shimmer shades, usually when I use them from palettes, on me, they're just like, whatever. But this one, it's like, it's actually put laying down some good pigment and you're getting a nice sparkle payoff. Now time for more fun. Go in with diamond sharks and start seeing how this works. Cause I'm not really, oh, that's a lot. Okay. Oh, I love that. Okay. I'm gonna use a little bit more on the other side. This is pretty. Okay. I mean, it's pink, so it's already won me over there, but no, it's really, really pretty. All right, now this is a lot of pink, so I wanna add another color to this. There's a really beautiful blue here, blueberry and ocean blue. I wanna try using some of those. So let's get creative. I want this to pop a little more, so I'm gonna use some of my Gerard Slay All Day Spray. I got the little minis from Riley Rose right before they closed. Oh God, it's such a sad day. You can just feel like Donna Summer and Elizabeth Taylor at Studio 54 just doing and dancing on my eyelids. Oh, I love it. Okay, now that faded my eyeliner a little bit, so I'm just gonna go in and trace over that. All right, take a few dabs of my concealer. All right, I'm gonna... All right, I'm gonna set that with organza. Okay, let's do the bottom of the eyes. All right, I'm gonna go in with blueberry again, and I'll go underneath the eye with this. And that's gonna be our blue under eye. I'm gonna go in with our milk. Cause yeah, once this runs out, I'm probably gonna go back to my wet and wild. And with a little brush, we're gonna go in with onyx. That is our eye makeup look. Now I just gotta do blush and lips, and we're just about done. For blush, I'm actually gonna use a color from the palette, I think. We're gonna go in with watermelon and see how that works as a blush. Girl, I wanna look like I worked at the Lancome counter in 1986, yes. Joan Cusack and the Working Girl with six different shades of eyeshadow on her lids with bangs that made no sense with the rest of her hair. That is me right now. All right, time to do our lips. I'm gonna go in with a nude lip actually. Since I'm doing color on the lids, you should do something more neutralized on the lips. All right, we're gonna go with Gerard Cosmetics. This color is Share Lip Liner. I'm gonna line my lips with that. And I'm actually an affiliate with Gerard Cosmetics now, you guys. So if you use the code James, J-A-Y-M-E-S, at checkout, you'll receive 30% off your purchase on non-sale items. Ding! If you ever want to use Gerard Cosmetics, girl, use my code, save some money. Ain't nothing wrong with that. 
See, keeping up with me has its perks. And girl, I have the control of a toddler when it comes to like pressure. And I did my whole lips right now. I don't have to sharpen it yet. So sis, that's good. All right, let's fill that in. I'm using French Toast lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics. And look at that solid gold, so luxurious. Okay. I don't know what it is. I love applying lipstick from a tube. It's just like, mm, like one of those bad girls in those 50s movies. Or like, oh yeah, Debbie, just wait till I get to Johnny's house and I'm gonna get him. That's a cute nude, yes. All right, now, I'm gonna let that settle for a bit before I go over with Kim Chi's lip gloss. All right, we're gonna go in with our final thing, the high key gloss. Take that and let's see how it works. Okay, it made it a little lighter, which actually works for the look. Do a little more. You don't want to overdo it with the lip gloss, otherwise it'll end up on your teeth. All right, an old school trick. It's kind of gross, but if it's just you doing your makeup, who cares? And that takes the stuff off there, so you don't get on your teeth. But now I need a makeup wipe. But anyways, that is the last bits. I'm gonna do my finishing touches, like lashes off camera. I'll be <laughs> right back. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, this is the final result. I put a wig on, and this is one of my custom styled Melee Blacks. I actually did some wig tinting on it. Like I used a wig tinter to make the legs more my skin tone. But, but I may have overdid it a touch because when I married it with my contour here, it's a little obvious. It doesn't really quite match up. But that's what I love about pale colored laces like my Melee Black comes in because you can color it any color you want. I love pale laces. All right, now, let me back to my makeup. I have to say, there is one thing missing from it that's kind of bothering me. The crease is a little too alienated, so I want to bring some black in there to kind of darken it up a bit more. So I'm just going to go back in with Onyx from the palette. Not to say, like, I am loving the eyeshadow. It's probably my favorite thing out of the whole, like, kit and caboodle. The liquid eyeshadow was really cute, too. I'd probably end up using this again. And the lip gloss is pretty. I just have to make sure I'm wearing, like, a shade that corresponds with it, obviously. But the formula was really, really pretty. All right, got those on. I'm gonna put my nails on, I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh my God, this is the final result. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love it. If you like my hair, Ernie styled it. It is a melee black available at jamesmansfieldbeauty.com. Oh my goodness, I have to say, I love the kimchi chic makeup. Like the palette is super cute. This is the Rainbow Shards palette and it is fabulous. And I also really, really liked the Diamond Shards or whatever this is. What is this called again? Yeah, Diamond Shards. I was right. <laughs> These two are my favorite products by far. The one I probably wouldn't use as much is probably the lip gloss. But it's only because it's a tinted lip gloss. I don't really use lip tints like that. And before I forget, it's time for our Ven moment. The moment where I take time to thank all you guys for tipping me via Venmo. Let's get started. Who are our Ven moments today? I would like to thank... Ryan, Ike again, Ike, my gosh, you're doing too much. And Ty, thank you guys so much for the Venmo tips. I love getting your tips. And a quick shout out to Gerard Cosmetics for hooking up my lipsticks today. Oh my gosh, this lip liner is fabulous, as is the lipsticks. And if you want to save 30% off of your Gerard Cosmetics orders, be sure and use the code JAMES, J-A-Y-M-E-S at checkout and save 30% off on non-sale items. Now this wig is just missing one more thing. The James Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give it a spritz. Ah, now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. All right, I feel chic as hell right now. I'm gonna go enjoy this makeup some, okay? So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, all right? And until next time, bye! Click here and watch me transform LaDonna wig by Kid Robot. Or see me transform Disney's Ariel wig. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, YouTube's gonna deactivate your account for leaving too many emojis. Oh, wait. So click it!